What's up guys, Money Cat here. Welcome to Treasure Hunting episode number two. If you missed the first episode, I will link it right over here, so feel free to go check it out. I'll also link my eBay listings down in the description box if you want to check out the items that I have listed there. Please feel free to message me, email me uh, for offers if you'd like to buy any of the items. Well then, without further ado, let's go treasure hunting. All right, so first we have two sports themed items. Sports always great because we love our fans. Fans love their teams, so they're more likely to buy them. So number one, we have set of wine glasses with Seattle Seahawks logo on them. Uh, really cool, it's not just a print of the logo, it's an actual piece of metal that's attached on top of the wine glass. Anyway, was able to pick them up for $2 for the both glasses. And so, gonna make some really good profit off them, hopefully. Our second item is Manchester United Team Scarf from UK Official Merchandise. A really good condition. I don't think it's been actually hung up or used from the story that I heard. Uh, like an uncle bought it from UK and brought it over but the kid was not interested so they it was just sitting there so super good quality like pretty much new uh, just open I guess you can say open box uh, anyways bought it for two dollars again same kind of thing with the wine glasses Manchester United obviously one of the most popular uh, football clubs in the world so there's got to be a buyer for this I know it there are a lot of team scarves, but I think each one is unique enough that eventually I'll be able to find a buyer for this. We are going with themes here today. So next two items are beauty and health products. I'm really excited about this category because I believe that beauty products have higher profit margin. So I've been trying to get into this category a little bit more and study a little bit more because eventually I think I'd rather be a lower volume but higher profit margin seller rather than high volume lower profit margin seller uh, because this is not going to be my full-time endeavor it's going to be side hustle part-time uh, job so that's the direction I'm headed towards anyway so I went to an estate sale and both items were picked up there actually. So the first item is a vintage Avon, I believe that's how you pronounce it, a compact for powder or foundation. And it also has a mirror inside. It's a really, really pretty case actually with a pouch and original box for it. So I looked it up on eBay, it goes for about $15 to $20. Uh, picked it up for $2, so really good deal. And next, a set of boxes of perfumes. They didn't have a price on it, so when I asked the person in charge for how much you want them for, she said she originally said 20 And even though that was a really good price, you know, I just wanted to take a couple dollars off, so I asked for 18 Originally, she said, no, each of them goes for about $15 or so, so 20 sounds pretty good. And I was going to, honestly, I was going to accept it because I thought 20 was pretty fair, if not a really good deal for me. But I just waited for like two seconds, and then she gave in, and she was like, all right, you can take it for $18. So I ended up getting $3 per uh, box or box bottle of perfume and like she said each one goes for about 10 to 15 dollars on ebay some of them are higher especially the kemp beverly hills perfume for woman that one went for average wise uh like 50 dollars i think on ebay for four ounce bottle it smells really good i really really like how it smells on woman not on me uh so Really excited to sell these, or try to sell these. Hopefully I'll make a really good profit off of them, and I think I will. Now, the most exciting item of today's haul. Found this art piece uh, for three bucks off of a garage, random garage sale. 
and this one looked particularly unique so I looked it up on the spot and you always look it up if there's a name inscription on either the art piece or like glassware or anything like that because that usually means that it uh, the person is more well known and the price you'll fetch is higher so I looked it up uh, made by F Russo and it's a bronze sculpture and it seems like it's actually one of the originals because it has the name inscription on the front and on the back side it has a number uh, like 364 slash out of 500 so that means this sculpture was casted 500 times and this is the 364th edition of it these this art piece was actually really hard to track down the price for it um, the first edition went for I believe somewhere near thousand dollars obviously for being the first edition and subsequently the rest are not as expensive as the first one but I think the lowest one I saw was about seventy dollars and average wise it's probably a few hundred or so most of these if not all are actually sold at an auction and they don't really reveal the price that it's sold for Unfortunately, there are there is some damage on the acrylic base of it, and I know especially with collectible art pieces, man, that even small damage just drives down the price a lot. But hopefully, I'll be able to, you know, get at least half of its original value despite the damage, and that'll be still really, really magnificent uh, profit margin. So stay tuned. I'll do some more research and hopefully I'll find the the best way to sell it either you know through auction through eBay or locally or whatever the last theme for today is bulk items I don't know why I bought these because honestly I haven't had too much luck with selling bulk items but man they always get me because in my head I'm calculating okay each piece goes for a certain amount of dollars and usually when you buy in bulk then the price you pay is much lower. So then I'm calculating, okay, if I sell them all individually, my profit margin will be huge, but I think that's a mistake. That's the wrong way of thinking because one, I'm not looking to sell them individually. I'll also sell them uh, in bulk, which lowers my profit margin. And two, especially with collectibles, I feel like bulk bulking them is not that effective because usually collectors already have a really good set going and they're looking for specific pieces and they're not really looking to uh, purchase a whole lot when they might have a lot of the same copies of what's in the lot the first one here is box of uh, collectible collectible mini cars made in England each of the cars goes for about two to three dollars on eBay and there are about 30 to 40 cars in the box so you know that's kind of how I thought about it which again I don't think is 100% correct I bought the whole box for $30 I'm pretty sure at the worst case scenario I'll be able to break even um, but really if I sell them bulk then I'm looking for at least about $60 or so and lastly this is a box of crochet threads. I know absolutely nothing, zero, nada about crocheting or strings or threads. However, it seemed like a good deal. I quickly looked it up on eBay. Just uh, the first new wrapped threads I saw. And that was basically the same as the price of the whole box, um, $6.00. So I was like, what the heck, even if I just sell that one single piece of item inside the box, I'll break even. So I just got the whole box. Some of them are new, wrapped in plastic. Some of them are partially used, which I don't think for threads it doesn't really matter because just because you used it, it does not degrade the quality of the rest of the threads. So we'll see. Not sure how much I'll be able to get it, but I know I'll probably... Uh, break even at the worst 
As always, if you are interested in any of the items that I showed you today in this video, please feel free to message me or email me. My email is in the description box below and send me an offer. 99.9% um, .9 of the time I accept an offer as long as it's reasonable. So yeah, just shoot me an offer and we'll make a deal happen. Well, thank you so much for watching episode number two of Treasure Hunting and look forward to episode number three. Until then, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.